Aye. Whosoever shall say thou fool shall be in danger of hellfire. <laughs> Would you like some lunch? It means if people regard God's messenger as a fool, crazy, mad, they shall perish in the fires of hell. I suspect there haven't been many first-hand accounts of Hades. And simply begging for forgiveness wouldn't undo a life of sin. I've been thinking, Zoe, um, maybe if you quietly contemplated these questions, it might be of more value than me giving some glib answer. If you turn the music down, it might help too. Ashley Thomas? Oh, hello. Um, pretty much the same. No. No. Oh, sorry, Charity, she was here. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> well, you know, it's like uh, saying the wrong words and she suspects a conspiracy. Yeah, 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 oh, well, well, look, I better go. Thanks. Thanks very much. Bye. Zoe! Yes. Oh. So then, you and my Scott getting on all right, then? Yeah, fine. Just that Bob said you were a bit frosty with him in the wall pack. Well, you must be mistaken, then. Tell you what, you and me should go out for a drink after work. A nice little girly chat. I've said we're fine. Anyway, I'm going out with Charity tonight. How's that going to help him? Blimey, going out with Charity Tate. Poor Scott. He's going to be wondering what devious practices she's introducing you to. I have got a life of my own, you know, Viv. Not when you're getting broiled with the Tates you haven't. I mean, look at her. That's what it comes to. The wages of sin. My God. She looks more like a bag lady. What did you say? Mind your own business. You took the Lord's name in vain. You what? You were blasphemous. It was just an expression, Zoe. Yes, it was. And I've got a lot more, so don't you sit there lecturing me. There's your money. Now leave the premises. You're evil. Did you hear what she said? I think you better go, Zoe. Don't worry, she's going. Feet won't touch. Don't you ever show your face in here again! <laughs> Everything all right? Is that in that factory? Look at that one. Pathetic. Hey, you know your charity pulled me earlier. Said I'm not paying her back quick enough. Yeah, well, I've got out. It's Kirk's birthday soon. I really wanted to do something nice for him. Well, get his useless get of a dad to. It's not the same. I thought I might have throw a party. You know you can get bouncy castles. See ya. Yeah, well, if you want the work, you'll have to put a tender in like everyone else. OK, bye. You know, I rang Ashley to uh, see how Zoe's doing. And? OK, I think. Well, he would say that, wouldn't he? Yeah, well, he's doing all he can. And I've done all I can. You know, Summer, this is not a competition, Chris. I know. I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, if anyone had said 12 months ago that my sister was a drug user, I'd have sued them. But then again, I couldn't have anticipated her hitting the bottle, either. Still, what do I know? An old blasted village seems to know more about my sister's antics than me. Since when has that kind of thing ever bothered you? I don't like things running out of control. Yeah, well, Ashley's still trying to get her to go and see the doctor. You think I've washed my hands of her, don't you? Well, you weren't taking any prisoners the other day. One more chance, which she blew big time. Part of me thinks just that. Enough's enough. And forget all about her. But how can I... How can I let my sister wreck her life? So all I can do is let her hit rock bottom. And there's only one way for her to go. Up. And that's how it's supposed to work, isn't it? She doesn't hit rock bottom too hard. Here, have one of these. Makes the fellas at these business do seem a little bit more interesting. Yeah, why not? Hmm. Slow down. You'll be out of school before we even get there. Who cares? You're still wound up over this car business, aren't you? Oh, you don't even know the half of it. Yeah, so tell me then. Nah, 
I've already shot my mouth off once too often. Yeah, but hey, this is me. All right. Do you think Ray Mullen is capable of killing someone? I thought we'd sorted it with him, but we just seem to be getting in deeper. So what does Scott reckon? Mm. We can't even talk about it without rowing. Yeah, so you're doing exactly what Ray Mullen wants you to then, aren't you? But what if he has killed Tony Bell? Well, I'll go and ask him if you want. No! Well, it doesn't scare me, Chloe. Well, it does me, no. Look, 99% of threats are a load of bull. Yeah, and what about the other 1%? Yeah, 99 to 1 in your favour. The best odds you'll ever get. <sighs> Look, do you mind if I don't come with you? I need to get back to Scott. <sighs> Good job I didn't ask you to get ready in five minutes flat. Look, I'm really pleased that you're coming. So you should be. It's only because Chloe stood you up. Yes, I know. How am I ever going to show my gratitude, eh? Well, I might think of something in the back of the cab. <laughs> <laughs>